G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're back in our Anywhere Anytime series coming in today, 59. And I'm coming back after yesterday's efforts, trying to farm Screamers to try and get some demons to spawn. I am pining to try and get my hands on some gyro parts, which just hasn't been going well for me at all. I can only get them from demonic construction workers and they just aren't spawning. So I have to change up my plans a little bit. No more farming Screamers out the back with all my campfires, which are... Well, actually, they're now off. Okay, that's fine. Oh, what's that? Oh! Oh! I see the glowy toesies of a screamer out there. That's fine. I'll deal with you in a second. But my plan as the morning chimes is to no longer try and farm screamers as such. There is one way that I know that I have a good chance at getting some demons to spawn. And that involves doing something rather silly. But when do I ever do anything but? I know where all the biomes are in this world. I know the bird biome is over to the west. I know the deserts to the south. And I know all the way over to the east is Trader Gen and the winter biome. Which means there's only one direction left. And that is to the north. That's where the wasteland should be. So if I go to the wasteland... I should be able to find some demons up there. At least that's kind of the plan. But that is also where Trader Caitlin likes to do her business. And she has some solar power. So in the interest of both saving my legs and my ass from riding a motorcycle across the winterland, or the wasteland rather, forever and ever. And also in the interest of saving the planet by getting some solar. I want to go to the wasteland. But I'm not prepared to do that just yet. There is some work I have to do before I can. Speaking of, I'm a little bit peckish. So let's get a steak sanger. Put it inside our face, just like that. We'll also chow down some uh, pure mineral water. Where's my... There it is, my jerky. Grab some of that as well. I'm going to quickly murder this screamer out here. See if it will spawn on the demon for me. But if it doesn't, that's okay. I've got a plan in mind. I still have a bunch of loot bags and stuff out here from last night where I was doing a lot of murdering, but not a lot of looting. G'day, love. How you doing? Do you want to have a gargle, please? There you go. Thank you. Now that you've done that, I can put you down. I will also put down your fat copy friend who's coming in and causing some issues. Anything that could cause some um, unfortunate damage to my base is going to have to die early. As long as I tip you before you vomit, you should stop in your tracks. Make sure you're dead. Make sure that dog dies as well before it explodes. This is the thing. Oi! I thought there was going to be... How did you get inside my house? I thought there was going to be like more more scary things uh, in a Screamer Horde than what there is. I thought they were going to be worse other than a Wandering Horde, but it turns out they're not. Did a cop explode? There was like chunks and stuff going everywhere. Oh, he did. He did. The remnants of a copy boy is left smoldering in the sun. That's okay. I'll get my uh, loot and gogs back on though. That's fine. Still no demons. So we're all right. I'll just grab all this loot and then start pushing on with some other things. It's okay. Some plans don't work out all the time. Means we're going to have some backups every now and again. So Scream is taken care of. So what I'm going to do... My Oh, wow. My, um... I need to repair some of my spikes, apparently. That's definitely seen some better days. There's now holes in my defenses. I need to get that protected and solid once again. The sides are okay. Just like this front area here, that's definitely seen a better day or two. But my plan is going to be, if I'm going to be going to the wasteland, I need to get a bunch more money. Because I don't want to go back, back, back and forth to there. It just takes way too bloody long, considering how bloody far away it actually is. So my plan for today is is to go and do a bunch of jobs to trade a potato and try and make a couple more dollar dues. That's the goal. That's the dream. So that when I do go out to see Caitlin, I have all the money I'm going to need to buy everything I need right then and there. I do have two Grandpa's Awesome Sources to get some better deals. I'll use one to sell all my stuff and make as much money as I can. I'll use the other one when I go see Caitlin to try and buy whatever I can on a discount. I don't know how well that plan of action is actually going to work out for me. Quite often my plans go to shit very bloody quickly. But hopefully, this is not one of those cases. So I'll quickly go and chuck all this stuff I just got back away again. Then go get a job from Trader Potato. There's lots to be done. And most of it is involves murdering zombies. Now that I have my kitchen all nice and sorted out, I should probably start thinking about moving the rest of my gubs up to the top. But I don't really know where... I don't really know where I want to put everything though. I have a nice living areas and things in my nice kitchen table, my living area. The kitchen is usable. This bathroom is kind of doing nothing, but where would I put like all my workstations, all my all my crafting benches, like my gun safe and things? 
I've got to find a place to put everything. I just don't know where that's going to be right this very second. I'll probably start like stripping out a bunch of these areas. I'll break you down really quick because you're going to be electrical parts and polymers that I need. But if I start stripping out some of these rooms, maybe they can be a bit more um, utilitarian. Is that a word? I think it is. It sounds right. Um, so I can start like working on that kind of stuff. I'll just drop down to here though and get back down into the basement and grab the rest of my gubs. I've made a couple of uh, wood spikes to replace the ones outside. I'm going to fix that first. I'll grab some iron to do the upgrades on that as well. Some sneaky iron just there. There we go. I'll bring that with me. Once I've got that up and going though, it's still early in the day. Then we're going to start making some money. While I'm out here, actually, I'll repair some of my blade traps who have definitely seen a better day or two. Probably would be a bad idea at some point to run my Mark II turrets. I was so keen for those for so long, and then when I finally made them, I'd already had the Mark Ones up there, so I haven't really got around to sorting them out yet, and I really should do that, especially if I've been asking for trouble with demon spawn. So that would definitely be a pretty hot idea for <laughs> to actually get my life in order. Upgrade you as well. Only cost a couple of steel per pop as well on those. So that's not too bad at all. And a loot bag out there. Upgrade that one. But as long as these blade traps are up and spinning, that makes me feel a whole lot better about it. Something so satisfying about cleaving a zombie's face apart with a big spinning wheel of death. Before I head out on my journey, I'll grab all the shotgun parts that I have. I need some more shotgun stocks, actually. In fact, if I go through... Wait, can I make combat shotgun receivers? Can I just, like, make that for myself? I can. Man, that's uh, I feel that's a bit of a a bit of an oversight. How valuable auto shotguns are, and the limited amount of resources it takes to make all the parts that go into it. Why wouldn't you just crank that out all the time, make yourself like two thousand dollar reduce a pop? Uh, I'm gonna need some more shotgun stocks though, so if I make a couple of those for steel and scrap polymers. I mean, I'm a little bit shy on polymers, but I feel it's gonna be worthwhile. Grab you, grab you. I'm gonna need. Just another three, actually, will be fine. Jump into here, shotgun stock, another three of you. I'm going to take a couple of minutes, but that's okay. But I'll get those cracking out, and then I'll, make, I'll turn that into uh, auto shotguns. While they're crafting away, I'll go do some raiding. But it's silly not to have those when I find combat shotgun receivers all over the place, and that just spits out coins for me. I do actually have quite a lot to sell in here and quite a lot of money already. I'm thinking in my head I need like maybe $100,000. If I go out there and find like a laser workbench at Caitlin's as well, which I think is how I stumbled across like that workbench in my original Darkness Falls playthrough. So I've got what I've got. I've got $84,000. So all that combined is probably already pretty close to 100 Gs. But like, yeah, the laser workbench or even like the forge is like $60,000 a pop. So if I blow my load on that one, I'm not going to have enough for any solar stuff. So I want to try and make as much money as I can. So I'm going to head out now. It's half past nine. Lost a little bit of time, but that's okay. We'll jump on the old bike over here. Do a cheeky three-point turn. Always the most annoying part of my base is having to swivel my bike around, but we get the gyrocopter. We don't have to worry about that anymore and go and see what old mate Lord Farquaad's got going on over here. Despite the fact he is now grown well, double his height. I guess I can stand your smell. And now he's chirping his shit again, bud. How you going? Uh, I would like a job from you, please. Now, I don't want anything tier 5 because that says way too much. I'm really only here to find relatively easy to get loots that you're not going to offer me. They're all tier 5s. And that means it's a factory, and I don't want to raid a factory. Factories are a freaking nightmare. What's this one, though? I've got a oh, tier 5 buried supplies. That could be interesting. Let's have a quick squiz at this one, though. What are you going to give me? Yeah, factory large. Yeah, nah, not happening. Not bloody happening, Jigglypuff. I'm not about that. I don't want to raid a factory, because it takes three days to get through those bastards, and I've got other plans in mind that don't involve schlepping around doing your bullshit. I'll go to this buried supplies, though, because I haven't done a tier 5. It could be something good. It could spawn something good. Who knows what's going to come for me? Maybe it's probably worth my time. Got the circle just here, which isn't too much trouble. I will quickly go if I don't use the M4, because 7.62 rounds are way more plentiful than core rifle ammo is. Did you die? You did die. See what I mean? Like, why would I bother wasting core rifle ammo when murdering anyone just as easily with my 7.62s gets the job done? Um, southwest is this side. This is a really big circle, actually. A bit bigger than I was really expecting it to be. 
Okay, that's the first time that sentence has ever been uttered in my presence, but you know, we'll just keep tracking along anyway. Down here we go. We'll use the same as we use on everything else. Just get down and start like spreading out in the subterranean world. Hope it's not too far away, but given how big this circle is, I'm not confident. It's not going well, but the circle is coming in from where I started. So it's hopefully over here somewhere. Might be on the other side of the world, but we'll just keep on digging through. That was weird. That was a stone block. I don't know why I was clipping onto that one, but that's okay. Keep on going through. Oh, no, nope, not that one. Circle's barely moving, actually. I don't know. This could be anywhere. This might be the white rabbit. The white whale. Call me Captain Frickin' Ja'Ahab. But uh, I'm going to keep looking for this. This might be the one that breaks all my rules and just gives me the big middle finger and tells me to get stuffed like a particularly angry blue ringed octopus. Where the hell is this place? It's about to collapse the bloody ground on top of me. Where's the box? The circle's moved quite a ways away from where I came down as well. We'll just keep following it as best we can. My new plan is just... That moved completely. It's gone further out that way. My new plan is to try and just keep like the circle in view wherever I end up going with it. So then at least I know I'm inside the circle at all times. And aside from a couple of skullduggery the game often gets up to by putting the box just outside the circle, I should hopefully come across it along here somewhere. Although it's, I mean, look at this. I've dug out like the in Can you stop moving the circle around, please? Now you're just being a knobhead. Now you're being an absolute sausage. It's, it's still not here, though. It's not bloody here. I'm inside the circle. Where the shit is this thing? I'm genuinely, genuinely out of ideas. I've dug every block. It's, it's not that in the stone layer, I don't think, ever. Um, it's just it's just not here. Is there even a bloody treasure chest? I'll start digging through the stone to find out where the hell you're trying to send me. Okay, keeps going this way. Look how small the circle is now. Look how f this is where the circle started, and that's where you. That is such fucking bullshit game. That's not even close to the goddamn circle. What's the fucking point of giving me the goddamn area to dig into if you don't even fucking abide by your own goddamn rules? Jesus Christ, X marks the spot, not X marks the hemisphere. It's in you fucking lying sack of shit. Just whip out your cock and slapped me round a bit. Oh, it's such a lie. That's such a- You're taking the piss. You're taking the piss like a goddamn deity golden shower. The next time a thunderstorm rolls through, I'm not going to look up because you're going to piss in my goddamn eyes. I'm annoyed. I'm a little annoyed. I'm a little annoyed about it. <laughs> it's just... Oh, I mean, I know seven days is just a big bag of dick sometimes and it likes to take the piss out of all your plans and all your all your endeavors just because it goddamn can. But this is a whole other thing. Oh, all right. Yes, I know. I know. Thank you for narrowing it down 18 years away from where the hell it was supposed to be. All right. Well, whatever. Let's just grab... No, loot and gogs and stay on. I need a quicker way out though. Is that going to be doable? Up to there. I'll get rid of that block as well, just in case. Oh, all right. All my frustrations aside. Ooh, another lightsaber. Slightly better than my current one. Don't mind if I do. I'll grab all of that. Put on my XP goggles and take up, up. Fucking up, please. Jesus Christ. Up and run. Get a bit of distance before bad things come for you. Pull up, pull up. Oh, they got mighty close. They're heckin' bloody quick. Okay, don't need to worry about the guy to my right. That's okay. Excuse me, cowboy. Don't mind me. I'm just going to take off into the trees over here. Do a cheeky reload. Run back to my bike. Look at them, though. There we go. A little bit of distance makes it so much easier. Line them all up like a goddamn turkey shoots. Still no demons, but that's okay. After the dig baggery of the buried chest, I don't particularly trust the game to give me a fair shot of the demon anyway. Huh. <sighs> Not a great start to the day. I was expecting so much better, but instead I just got pissed on my face. Look at that looming monster over the oh, over the top of my entire town. Some zombies have died here. You know what? 
I don't even feel bad about it. I'll happily take the fruits of someone else's labor. If I'm gonna dig up half a bloody consonants to try and find a treasure chest, I'm gonna get the reward for it. Oh, there's another one over there. There's a couple of them around. So I think this must be... Because there is like a limit to how long zombies can live in the world. I saw that during the old GFM8 series that eventually uh, uh, zombies will just die if they're alive for too long. I think that's what's happening here. I'll take that pink die. Thank you. And then scrap that one. Which is fine with me. You know, stumbling across a little treasure trove of loot bags every now and again is not a particularly bad thing. But aside from that... That looming shadow over there that is casting a shadow over my entire town. That is the volcano that I've been calling a volcano for a long time. And I would like to go and investigate that. That was the original plan for today. But now that old mate here is not giving me any decent jobs, that's what I'm going to do. I'll take the chainsaw and I will take the mod, I suppose. It's worth the most amount of money. I'll take both of those. Cheers, big ears. Uh, any other work? No, don't care. Recipes? No, don't care. Better crafting? Don't care. And a more oh, tier 3 fetch? And a bunch of tier 5s. You know what? No. Not gonna do it. There's a good reason why. At the end of the day, the loot that I get at the end of a POI doesn't matter if it's a quest or not. Like, just raiding a regular POI with a, a reinforced chest or even better, a hardened chest at the end of it, then I'm gonna get good loot from it. So, faffing about with all the other shit doesn't really matter to me. What does matter to me is getting up there, though. I'm going mountaineering. I want to know what's at the top of that. I can't really go any further because look at that porcupine of a mountain that I have to try and traverse. So, bikey boy, you can just stay there. In fact, no, I'm okay. I can hold on to the rest of this. That's a-okay. I'm going to go on foot from here. So, after what? Like a month of promises? After promising... Ooh. There's a derpo up here. A lot... I... What? There shouldn't be. There's nothing marked on my map. I don't mind at all, though. I'll take a sneaky derpo. But after a good, like, month of promising that at some point I would explore this mountain, the time has finally come. I'm making good on my word to finally get up here and have a squeeze at what is going to be bestowed upon me. Ooh. Another couple of mups. So I think that's the way I need to go. That looks about the right kind of spot over there. Maybe I should have brought my bike with me so I could ride off the top. Yeah, okay, I'll go get that. I'll get the turbo in a second. But I'd rather, like, if there's a way, an easier way down on the bike, I'd rather have an option to run all the way back here for no reason. Loot and specs on. Grab the supply crate. What have you got for me? Steel pickaxe, some honey, a battery bank. All right. Not too bad. You go away. That turbo wasn't for you. I think it's up there. I'm going to keep going up until at some point I find where I can't go up anymore. Well, that's nice and sheer. That looks pretty good. Right, I'll stay over this side then. See if I can get to the top then make my way across. I don't know. I like this terrain though. This is really interesting. I feel like I'm actually getting my full Indiana Jones on. Give me a whip for some exploratory reasons. Not the ones I normally have. Getting my full mountain goat on. But I think I'm about to be at the top. Up, up, up. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is a, it is a volcano. Holy shit, is that a long way down, though? I don't want to tempt my fate at all. Let's go like this. I want to have a squeeze down and Donaldson look over the side and potentially fall into the... <laughs> That's a long way down. Holy crap, is that a long way down? How has that happened, though? What's at the bottom? I don't even know. Okay, well, whatever. I will take those back and I will stay the hell away from that edge. So after all this time of, of calling it a volcano, it legitimately is. Oh my god, but there's like little... Holy shit, there's little pits of death everywhere? Is that the same as the other one? So it must be like a glitch or something. There must be like something that's like sending whatever terrain is supposed to be at the top down to the bottom of the world. Because that there doesn't look like it's legitimately supposed to be there. So there's this little like... Oh, fuck me, Dad. This is so risky. Oh, my God. So, there's this, like, pockets of death all around here. Huh? Oh, what am I doing this for? Imagine if this is how this series ended. Me falling into the bowels of the earth like a freaking Brendan Fraser. Oi, can you come up here? I want to send someone down to the pit of the earth, but I don't want it to be me. If you can make it up here, I'll, str I'll tap you on the helmet and send you down. Is that... Oh, my God. They're, they're everywhere. It's like a minefield of death. This is the worst place. Ooh. I take it back. I take it back. This might be the best place. 
Oh, look at that, though. I want to move my base here. This is this is where I want to build my mouth. This is my, my mouth. This is where I want to build my my forever base. This is where I could shack up with Jen. Look at that for a view, though. Imagine having your base here. You could like take advantage of one of these little like death drops over here somewhere as like a zombie pit. Oh my god, look at that. That's just a genuine nightmare. Like, imagine having, like, a horde base or something with, like, a trapdoor. Like, the old, like the trapdoor base that I built. Imagine building that here and sending zombies down to the middle of the earth. You wouldn't have to deal with them. You're going to send them down there and leave them down there forever because I doubt the physics would calculate from that far away. And then have, like, your, your normal house and stuff over here. Just a look out over the horizon. Oh, I regret... I regret making my house down there. I don't actually because that's a sick base, but... I want to live here now. If I had the gyrocopter from the start, this is where I would live. Because access is a little bit difficult. That's so cool. It's an honest to goodness volcano. So this is like, this is Darkness Falls Large 2 is the map I'm on. So if you're playing this, come here. There you go. Those are my coordinates. 3500 west and 1300 south. Come here, build a base here, and like tweet me screenshots or something, because this is fucking sick. There's a zombie on the other side of the crater, and I want to kind of send him down. Can I, like, can I get your attention? I don't want to kill you. Apparently, my, M my M4 is too bloody powerful. I just need a zombie. Where's that bikey boy gone? Oi, dickhead, helmet head, get up here. Look, there's a nice, easy enough path up to here. If you can get to here, I'll bonk you on the noggin and I'll send you down. I probably shouldn't be playing with fire like this, but I'm kind of too tempted not to. Or can I do something really cheeky? Can I? I'm just playing games now. Can I build myself like a bit of a a bit of a platform out here? Get the zombie to stand on it and then pick up the block he's standing on. Is that a thing I can do? I haven't tried that before, but if it is, that's the new plan. I just want to send someone down. That's all I want to do. I just want to have fun with this place before it's too late, before I leave to go somewhere else. And I never come back here again because it's way too scary. Come on, buddy. You're so close. You're so bloody close. Come out here. Come on. There you go. A little bit further. A little bit further. Now I can run around. Take all of that. <laughs> He's gone all the way down. I can't even see him anymore. <laughs> Well, I hope that was a good helmet for you, bud, because it was a good one for me. Oh, man. All right, well, if he survives that, which I doubt he will, uh, he can have a tale to tell for the end of the time because he's going to be down with the freaking Terracotta Warriors. Oh, man, so good. If I had my time again, I would absolutely come up here first and foremost and build my house up here. But what we don't know at the start, well, can't hurt us except for sheer amounts of regret. I'll grab you, I'll chuck you down onto that one, get my machete back, and right off into the distance. So cool, so freaking cool. I hope there's not a big hole over here, and I hope this doesn't hurt me too much. Please out of the back wheel first. Ow! A little bit of damage, but that's okay. That's all right, down nice and quickly, or well, a little bit quickly, faster than going the other way at the very least. Oh, what an adventure. Why didn't I do that earlier? Why didn't anyone tell me to go explore the volcano before now? Oh, it was so worthwhile. But anyway, it's now five o'clock. I've got jobs to do and to go find somewhere to raid. I still need to find some loot to make some money from. Oh, it was so sick. Imagine I call a base and look up there though. Oh, I want to do that now. There's not really that many exciting places left to raid. I kind of wish the waterworks was still raidable because that has like the big hardened chest at the bottom of it rather than just a reinforced chest. So that would be my normal pick to go for. But instead, I'll just take this one. I'll quickly just pop you down there. I can now willingly slice up any zombies that come my way because I have a spare lightsaber now and a better one than I currently have. I'll stick with you for the moment because I mean, you do one extra damage, but I'll just wear down this one a bit further without too much of a worry. Go back into you. I'll put the gas back away. There you go. Lock you into place and store the rest of it. My bike actually had a bunch of gums from my last adventure still locked into it that I completely forgot about. So that was a little silly. We're about to go and get some more. Pop you open. In fact, let's get the old NVGs on because we haven't really used them to the fullest of our uh, capabilities and I kind of want to. We'll go full stealthy boys. See what's going on. See who we can kill without too much of a problem. Wait, was that the way I'm supposed to come in or was it... Ah, uh, it was normally there. Okay, that's all right. I'm on the right place. Just came in a different door. 
Oh fuck! Holy shit! Holy shit! Where the fuck alone did you come from? All I heard was the swing, like the whoosh noise of his arm. That was all the warning I got out of that before there was a zombie freaking inside my nose. Oh, that was awful. That was goddamn awful. I did not like that one iota. Whew. That took off like six years of my life. That was terrible. Anyway, try and move on from the little jump scare we just got just then. Grab the rest of this stuff. Grab all of that stuff. In fact, I might even... Ah, uh, screw screw the NVGs. What do they matter? I might just keep my um my loot goggles on because I'm here for loot after all and not much else. May as well really hedge all my bets on that and just ignore everything else. Just because I'm not wearing my NVGs anymore doesn't mean I can get hapsadaisical about my safety and just go charging through here. Still want to be as stealthy as I can. Yeah, I know someone's in here somewhere. I just don't know where the hell they're waiting for me. Maybe I'll get a little bit louder then. There we go, and try and draw him out. I just didn't know where exactly they were hiding. I said way closer than it actually turned out to be. Yeah, I don't know where they're hiding, so sometimes it's better for them just to show up where I can see them without too much of a hassle. You're not dead yet, but I'll keep you just while you're still warm. Dip my chips a little bit. Thank you very much. Loot and golds are still on. Scrap you. Don't need rotten flesh. Don't need canned food either. Do like treasure maps. Cole's treasure map, where you're gonna send me this time? Still in my normal town. Set oh, sending me up to the north. That's that kind of bodes another question as well. Because this road is heading around back to the west, I'm not confident that heads enough north for me to really get a good grasp on the wasteland. What my current idea is, I might head back to the winter biome, because then I can grab my box of gobbles on the way through, sell whatever's in there to tradey, that's fine. Head on up, head up this way, follow this road. That's my current plan. I don't know, I can't, I can't really explain it, but all these roads are going like east to west, they're not really going anywhere where I need them to, and that one's hooking round. That's the only road that I can see at the moment, the only highway that looks like it's going north. So that's kind of where I'm going to be heading eventually. Got a little bit of work to do before that, though. And hopefully it doesn't go too badly for me. Ooh, more purple dye, though. Thank you very much. Up to the roof and just in time as well, because this is getting heckin' late. It's already bloody 8 o'clock. Oh, there's a clown. Put around through the back of your noggin. Oh, put around through your parrot friend as well. No cosplay Long John Silver for you. Uh, yeah, I'll go you first. And then go you. And then no one else. That's not a particularly great defense for hopefully some pretty decent loot. Though it's on these shamway boxes. Now I understand why no one gave a shit about any of the stuff up here. Um, have a quick little squiz around. We're looking pretty okay. All right, nice. Looting dogs are still on because I never took them off again. Some ammo. Medical supplies. Don't need any steroids. Don't need steel ammo either, but I'll scrap you for your individual parts. Right. Shadow boxes are always a disappointment. That one continues to be. Uh, I'll scrap you and you. But I'll take you because I might be able to make some more learn elixir out of it. Last but not least, what have you got for me? Some nuggies, some diamonds, and some military gloves, which I'm currently... Now, you're not as good as my current ones. Okay, that's fine, though. No, you, you tried your best, but you didn't quite get there. I won't ridicule you for that. I will ridicule the shadow box. It'll be nothing but rotten flesh. Home sweet home once again. Just pull up like that. I do... There is a part of me that kind of wants to build, like, another drawbridge here. But I feel like having one there already is already too much of a liability. And as much as it would be nice to have, like, a drive through like, all the way back to, like, the Doomsday Base. Doomsday Base is still one of, like, my favorite bases I've ever made. Back when there was still the zombie-proof um, walls and the force field and the drawbridge, the killing corridor, the whole lot. That was, like, the ultimate base that I've ever really made. It was so OP that since then I've barely made any bases with those same tricks of the trade ever since. So I kind of do want to make, like, another one through uh, there just to pass through and make riding through that much easier. But it's just... And it just, like, sacrificed too much of the integrity of my walls. I'm not really about that. But that was a reasonably successful little jig. What have I got? I do actually have quite a lot of gubs. Lots of dye as well. I will need to go to multiple tradies because I can only sell, like, three of the dyes. I can only sell three of the auto shotguns as well, which are worth quite a lot of money each. Put you guys in there as well. That one gets sold... That one saves with me. You sold, you sold, you guys sold too. Lots to get sold. I, I should make most of the money that I need tomorrow. 
So maybe I push tomorrow then. Maybe I go, I go see Trader Direct to start with. Sell what I can. And in fact, take all this stuff with me. Because there is also, um, what's, what's his name? With the big red beard. I call him Trader Rev. That's the wrong bloody one. The winter buyer, I'm Trader Rev, his name is. There's also Trader Jet out there as well. There's also opportunities to sell stuff when I get out there. And again, I only really need another $3,000 to have my target of 100 grand. So that's definitely doable. So maybe I go tomorrow. Do I want to go push to the de to the wasteland tomorrow? I'm not especially sure that I do. That could be a really bad decision. Oh. There's a horde outside. There is a horde outside. I knew it before the gun started because I heard the moaning and groaning of a berry boy. Let's get out there. Have a little squeeze what we've got to deal with. And Try and help out the fence as much as we can, because the less I worry about my spikes and blade traps doing all the heavy lifting, the better off I'm gonna be. Put you down, Scomo, please fuck off. The lot of yous. That's a lot of bears. Get away from my door. Get away from my goddamn door. Now I oh wait, hang on. I can't go too close. Because the the motion will see me. There we go. Turn you off. Oh, the frame rate's really goopy. Get upstairs so you can get a better view of what's happening out here. There we go. That's fine. The, what, the force field is doing its job and keeping my drawbridge nice and safe. You're fucking up my neighbor's house. I don't particularly care about that, though. There were shitty neighbors anyway. Barely left any good loot for me to take advantage of when I came and raided it later on. I've killed everyone that I can see. There's a couple of, well, there's a big pterodactyl out there, but there's a couple of loot bags for me to get, but that's really all that's left over of that hawk. You stop flapping about in really unpredictable ways. It's really hard to shoot you, you ibis bitch. So I'll go grab all those loot bags in a little bit, but I think if I'm going out tomorrow to the wasteland, by the time I come back, if I'm going to fight demons out there, by the time I come back, it's going to be way worse for me. So I'll put the rest of this stuff away. I should really put those Mark II turrets down. I've got a, a bunch more ammo crafted in there to both refill my turrets I currently have and my new turrets. Um, this is the inconvenient part of having some of my storage downstairs is... Sometimes I have to run back upstairs to put some of my food stuffs back away. In fact, I can scrap all you guys just for iron. Nuggies go into there. Uh, anything else to be sold? I don't think so. You in... Where was my box of key cards? Was it this one? It was that one. There you go. Put you away as well. Oh, man. Just like sorting out my storage now. It takes so much more brain power. I don't have much to spare in the first place. Before I do anything else, really, I'll grab all the stuff out of you. Complete that and stick it into my level 49 one. I'll keep that T50... Uh, sorry, 59. Maybe. I'll keep that T58 one for a rainy day. So I need to repair my T59. I have some way to do it. It won't get it completely fixed, but it will do a little bit. Plus, it's only worth like $300, which is barely worth the blade that it's written on. Uh, everything else is looking pretty good. What's my deal with rocket launchers, though? Rocket launcher. I can make a T51. It's not as good as my current one, but I could repair that, I suppose. Nah, you're super expensive. Stuff it. It's fine. I barely use the rocket launcher anyway. That'll be A-OK. -okay. But I will actually grab a cheeky bit of purple dye and dye a purple because all the things I own have to be dyed purple. What did I actually get? Hang on. I bought the Mastery of Security. What do you give me? I made an M60, but it wasn't worthwhile. I can make military armor, but I have a full set of that already anyway. But advanced tactical rigging might be the way to go. What's my armor situation like? If I go military armor, I can make tier 51, but I'm currently rolling... Other than my tits, I'm rolling better than that anyway, so never mind. But what about that... In fact, stop holding the rocket launch just before you murder yourself by accident. What was it? Rigging. I can now make advanced tactical rigging, schematics, leather, military fiber, and duct tape. I have all of that. It will only give me the last slot of my, um, uh, of my carrying capacity, but I feel like it's still worthwhile just to have the best of the best. While that's going as well, in the interest of not getting my shit pushed in next time around, but you can get sold. I can't sell you. Is there anything else in here that can get sold? You guys can't be sold either. Well, actually, how far... If I'm going to the wasteland, how far away am I from making myself a, um, not that one, Josh, that one, uh, from making myself like the anti-rad mods that will keep me from dying as soon as I get there? That's probably worth a squeeze. I've got a couple of extra augers. I can sell you. I can sell you. 
Probably, oh, I've got another chance. Oh, I got that one to sell. Actually, I sold that one. It's worth way more than my half-broken tier sixty. That might mean it's worthwhile repairing you and you. Just get some extra dollar redos out of you. Um, they used all of my repair kits though. Wow, that was expensive. Um, those rad mods, ra radiation mod. Where are you? Not rad remover. Not that one. Where? Oh yeah, these ones. Is that the mod? No, wait. What? I've now completely forgot what it is. Is this is this a mod though? Tailoring kit mod C3. That is the mod. So you cost me 12 fibers a pop. How many do I have? Is the ultimate question. Because I have been scrapping most of the stuff. I've got 45. I need 60. I might just have to go just wearing the hazmat stuff. Which won't be great for me, but it might keep it protected a little bit. Not really my ideal situation, though. So how am I going to put down a second turret here that's going to... Do I just, like, pick up the SMG auto turrets and leave it at that? I'm not really sure what the best way to do this is going to be. Plus, it's getting a bit late in the day. Um, Do I just replace the T1 turrets with the Tier 2s? Is that just the way that I do it? But I have all that spare 9mm ammo that's not going to be doing anything anymore if I don't have these. Or do I put like another little like tower behind it with the same kind of block there, so they're kind of like double stacked like that. I don't know. How about give me that then? Give me you. Let's have a look, little look see. Can I go? So the problem is as well, I've got like the the relay box there as well as taking up the space as my door flaps about like a wind in the a wind in the breeze? A wing in the breeze, what I was going for. Um If I go on face. Now stick you like that. Stuff it. Stuff it. We'll do it like that. I just want these I just want these turrets out here. It's not the wisest of decisions, but it's gonna have to do for me. Uh you can go back to being that one. I think like that. In fact, can I just like stick turrets to the side of this thing? I've left it all inside. I was faffing about and I looked at it and I forgot to bloody bring the turrets out here. For goodness sake. In fact, you know what? It's getting it's gonna be too late in the day. I'm gonna have to call it here and just kind of get my life in order a little bit. But then first thing tomorrow, I'll go outside and I'll make uh, the last of those uh, turrets. I'll get my Mark II turrets up and about outside. So make sure my house is nice and protected. And then it's off to the races. I'll go see Trading Wrecked and sell what I can and make what I can. That's going to be like the main selling point that I sell most of my gubs. And then it's back off to the east through the lakes. Grab my box of gubs out of there. Sell the rest of my stuff to that tradie. Maybe stop off at Jen's to see if I can... In fact, you know what? Stuff that tradie. I'll go to Jen. I'll sell to Jen instead. Because she might have another awesome source for me. Which will mean I can use one again to get some more dollar redos. And then it's up north. Cross country, come hell or high water, frozen winter wasteland or whatever, all the way up north to up to the wasteland, hopefully. So hopefully find Caitlin, hopefully find some solar, and hopefully find some construction site demons I can get a freaking gyrocopter finally out of and make my life infinitely better. But I'll have to risk it for that delectable biscuit in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure to like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter if I don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.